See, I think people say, <clears throat> uh, say this to us because they assume that a two-wheeler is a two-wheeler. So if you're making a motorcycle, uh, why not also make a scooter? It again comes from the same sales mentality of more is more. And I tell them this is like saying to Sachin Tendulkar that he should play baseball because that is about a bat and ball also. So what's the difference between baseball and cricket? You know? It doesn't work like that because when you are wanting to be a global company, I mean look at someone like Gillette for example, something that all of us are familiar with because it's the best that a man can get. Uh, at least at our age it's the best that a man can get. <laughs> so, I mean what I'm trying to say is Gillette apparently today has 60% global market share in what it does. It is synonymous with that. When you think of a burger, you don't go to Pizza Hut. When you think of pizzas, you don't go to McDonald's. So business is more about perception than reality. When a customer walks into my dealership, for me the most important person in the company is neither the watchman nor the chairman, it's the salesman at the dealership. He has to answer to the customer, why mine? He has to be able to stand up and say, please buy mine because the whole world is buying mine. Because the fact of the matter is we all buy what other people buy. I mean, we don't uh, have the guts to make, a, you know, and the wisdom to make such a very reasoned and wise choice. So, I am saying that in life we should climb only one mountain at a time. If there comes a time when Bajaj has 20, we have only 10% global motorcycle market share. Should I try to move in the motorcycle segment, which is 35 million vehicles worldwide, from 10% to 15, 20, 25, 30, where I have tailwinds? Or should I, should I try and uh, you know, address the scooter segment, where we are zero, and try and build it up from there uh, uh, and build a presence. I mean, for me, it's a no-brainer. But the problem is, again, these management concepts like reimagine and re-engineer. Because, <clears throat> because I'm told you should reimagine this. So my answer is this, that, you know, I'm always told by media people, by analysts, that uh, this is called de-risking. You know, that scooter bhi hoga, motorcycle bhi hoga, to ye nahi chalega, to ye chalega. This is not de-risking. You know, this is gambling. Uh, this is playing darts. Uh, this is distraction. And this is fragmentation of resources. I mean, at the end of the day, you must be like Arjun and you must believe you can see the eye of the bird and you must go for it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least you gave it the best shot. So that's what I... I want to say one thing very seriously to all of you. That if your innovation in this country depends on government approval or the judiciary process. It will not be a case of made in India, it will be a case of mad in India. <laughs> you know, yoga teaches us, especially if you follow the eight petals of yoga, to strengthen our immune system from within. It's like saying if you have an accident and God forbid you break your leg, your first port of call is not going to be to use a walking stick. You're going to do physiotherapy and strengthen yourself. In our case, we made a lot of scooters at one time, but our R&D was a big zero. Don't go and tell my father this, otherwise I'll lose my inheritance. <laughs> but, but this is my opinion anyway. And the answer to not having an R&D doesn't mean you go and sell something cheap. The answer to not having an R&D is not to go and engage a consultant. The answer to uh, not having an R&D is to develop your own capability. And I started long time back in 96 with four young engineers to do that. Why is it in the aviation sector a sector which is known to be very difficult. Indigo does so well, for example, and Kingfisher does so badly. I jokingly tell people it is because in Kingfisher there are there is no business model, there are only models. <laughs> but, <clears throat> but, but having said that, the point I am trying to make is we have to look inside before we look outside.